The third step of the serve is the backswing. Behind me, I'm in my stance and I'm about to shadow the backswing. But in this video, I only want you to focus on the hand that's holding the tennis racket because we've already talked about the toss. Now, to begin the backswing, I let my hitting arm drop down to my side. And when this happens, the tennis racket kind of looks like it's pointing at the court. And then from here, I begin to raise the racket. But when I raise the racket, initially, my palm is going to stay facing the court. And you can see that here. My palm is still pointed down. Now, I continue to raise the tennis racket until I get to this position here where my tennis racket and my arm look like an L. And because it looks like an L, this is commonly called the L position. And the other key here is that you have the tennis racket pointed straight up in the sky. So let's watch that one more time from the stance. The racket comes down to my side and is pointing at the court. Then I begin to raise it. My palm stays down initially and I bring my arm and my tennis racket up until I get to this position, which is commonly called the L position. Let's watch Sasha Jones's backswing. Here she is in her stance, and she begins her backswing by dropping her arm and her tennis racket down by her side so that the racket is kind of pointed at the court. And then from here, she begins to raise the tennis racket, but if we freeze it now, you can see that even though she's raising the tennis racket, her palm stays facing the tennis court. She'll continue to bring the racket up until the tennis racket is pointed straight up into the sky and her tennis racket and her arm now look very similar to an L. And again, that's why the relationship between her arm and her racket now is called the L position. It looks like an L and this is the position you want to get to at the completion of your backswing. Let's look at a few pictures of John Isner and see how he takes the tennis racket back. In this first shot, John is in his stance. But in this next picture now, he's begun to take the racket back by first dropping his arm and the tennis racket down by his side so that the tennis racket is more or less pointing at the tennis court. Now John has begun to raise the tennis racket, but if we move in on the racket and his hand, what you'll see is that his palm is still facing down at the tennis court as he raises the tennis racket. Finally, now John has completed his backswing by getting the racket all the way back so that the racket is now pointed up at the sky. And again, the relationship between his tennis racket and his arm look like an L, and that's why this position John's in is called the L position.